But you've got to remember that every player in the world is a, a manipulator. Every player. They're all manipulators. Yeah. They've got to be. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to Pete all about his golf swing philosophy. Also, three top drills that amateur golfers can and should use to help their game. We're also going to be talking about the trail arm. Also, if you like and subscribe to this video, also follow me on the Skillist app. You will be automatically in the competition to win one free golf lesson per month throughout 2024. Now, enjoy the video, guys. It's going to be amazing. Guys, welcome down to the channel. As you can see, I am joined by the legendary coach, Pete Cowan. Pete, Andy, nice thank, to see you. It's nice to see you too. Thank you very much for taking the time. Mm. Guys, I'm just going to warn you right now, grab a notebook and a pen and get writing down because this is going to have some serious gold in it. We've just been talking off camera as well and some of the information that we're going to be giving, or Pete's going to be giving, is going to be amazing for your golf swing. A lot of you have asked questions, so I'm going to be putting those to Pete as well throughout the video. Pete, thank you so much for coming on, taking the time. Okay. Um, I think the first question to you: What kind of what is the golf swing? What's the, what's the, the how do you? The golf the golf swing is quite difficult for most people because it's like rubbing your belly and patting your head at the same time. You've got totally different directions. Your arm movements coming this way as your body's opening up. So it's so easy to get the disconnection in the two. So what we've got to try and do is make it as easy as possible to keep the connection of the arm movement matching the body turn. That's yep. that's the holy grail of the golf swing, really. And it, it, it's not easy because everybody that plays golf finds the game quite difficult. And yep. yeah, it is. And, but if we can make it a lot simpler with simple mechanics, then obviously we can get a matchup so much easier in how the arms and the body work. Because we really want the arms to swing round like this as the body is opening yes. up. So yeah. it never gets behind us, like everybody complains about, it's stuck behind me, I can't get it, and the hands are manipulated. Yeah. Well, then you have to have brilliant hand action. But you've got to remember that every player in the world is a, a manipulator. Every player, they're all manipulators. Yeah. They've got to be, you know, because what we want is we want great mechanics with the best manipulators. Yeah, that yeah. gives us the best player. Yeah. yeah, so that's why I always say with somebody like Brooks or McElroy or Woods, they are the best manipulators. There's no doubt about that. And they are. When I relate it to juggling, I say those guys at the top that win in majors all the time, they could juggle 20 balls. Yeah. Their hand-eye coordination is that good. The average tour player probably can only juggle 10 yeah. and you know the good amateur probably five, five you know yeah. simple as that so that's the separation yeah. so they're so they're two, twice as good with manipulation as the average tour player so that's why they win the top tournaments yeah. and they and then they've got really good mechanics yeah. as well yeah we're going to be talking a little bit about my swing so I'm going to hit a couple of shots for you down this little par three here at Emirates Golf Club and obviously we've had a, you've, you, you've taught me a couple of times before so I, feel like yeah. I'm under, I feel like I'm under a bit of pressure here to make sure mm -hmm. I've, I've improved since last time well let's have a look <laughs> you've always got an excuse if you're bad <laughs> I have got an excuse I've got a bad back right so I've been working quite hard I've been working the most hard actually on transition everything for me has always been about trying to get the club back out in front of me mm -hmm. when you every time you're describing that move that is kind of me down to a mm -hmm. me down to a T isn't it um, kind of watching my own swing recently and noticing the takeaway is getting super outside and steep but I've not been too worried about it because it has helped a little bit on the transition right let's see if I can get this first one up there It's not a bad first attempt. Not decent. Two out of ten, not bad. Two out of ten, that's pin high. It's a sign of a well, sign of a quality golfer. Victor look. Perez is only three out of ten, so <laughs> not so bad, two out of ten. <laughs> right, let's try that again. Oh Pete, that's that's a that's a six. Never been a six. I've never seen a six. <laughs> never seen a six. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I'm, I'm, I'm stopping there, actually. That, yeah. that was, uh, they were that pretty, was, they were pretty, pretty good. Cool. So the, the movement. So what you've got there is very simple. You, you've, you've probably trained the body to make a movement that's consistent. So everybody needs a consistent body action. Yeah. It doesn't have to be always perfect, but it has to be consistent. Yes. So if it's consistent, you can match it, you can match up. Yeah. If it's inconsistent, then it, everything's going to be inconsistent. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got to have the body action. And so that's why we do so many body drills to actually try and make the body more consistent. Now with amateurs, what I would say most of them 
not all of them, would be much better with the feet together. They get the still get the body it's coiling up like a spring, yep. turning from the feet, knees, hips, abs, chest, coiling up, and then the arms are up in position and then swinging down and nicely in balance. And then the body is at its best working consistently. Yeah, and that's yeah. the key. So then we find the bottom of the arc more consistent we'd hit the middle of the club more consistent we get more consistency out there yeah. so that's when you know we've given the drills as coaches we've given that drill quite a few times and it is very very successful yeah. there's yeah. no doubt about it. because of the consistency of the body action yeah so then the answer is well i wouldn't hit it as far no they wouldn't but they'd hit the middle of the club more often so they'd probably get much more Pretty benefit better, out of yeah. it yeah. Yeah, out of yeah. it and they'd enjoy the movement a lot better yeah. because it wouldn't be all over the place and they feel as though they're unbalanced you know and because there's three balance points in the swing which i say on my old my old video that's 30 years old 25 years old feet lower coccyx yeah. upper vitamin so here and here is when i push this top of, top of the spine through it becomes my throat the lower coccyx becomes my midsection and then the feet when they're always working in harmony the club's following the balance, yeah. so it's much, much easier. So if somebody said to me, right, what would make me a good, consistent swinger? I'd say, get that body action working, the arms up there, and then get the club there, pass me that club under. I get, it turn it upside down, not the head. I'm gonna work this club around a 45 degree angle, around and up, down and around. And the 45 degree angle is just the middle of where I want to match the arm swing to the body and yeah. make it very simple. And if you swing this 45 degree here, back to 45 degree, yeah. left arm up to about 45 degree, back down 45 degree, impact 45 degree, through swing. It's easy to match that. Yeah. And there's five or 10 degrees away, either way you get, still get a decent yeah. benefit out yeah. of it. Yeah. So that to me gives you everybody much more consistency. Yeah, I think that's a great visual. I coached, I actually coached that a lot with the 45 degree mm. angle because mm. you get them, you get them kind of just past takeaway position, and that ne that very next one is where you're going to get your first 45 mm. degree angle during the swing. But then to get into that position, and I was going to ask you, like, what do you think is the most important part of the golf swing? Is is there one? What do you well, kind of? The, th the thing is with with the golf, what you're trying to do, we know for a fact that there's only three things you've got to get right. You've got to start the ball on line with the correct flight and the correct spin. So online, so yeah. <laughs> online is face. Yep. Flight is loft and angle of attack. Yep. And spin is path. Yep. So oh, that's, we've just got to get those right, yeah. aren't we? So first of all, it would be much easier if you've got a stable face. Yep. And then I, all I would have to worry about is I've got the loft on the club, stable face. I work the path yep. and then I can obviously move the ball one way or the other or just put full pressure on it and dead straight yeah. depending so that's why we always talk about equal and opposite in the grip gives us face stability yeah. so all the way through it's like putting i'm trying to get the hand there and the hand there stable right so when i'm putting there's no manipulation yeah. there's no flip so i can put consistent movement and pressure on the ball which in turn is going to give me more consistency in in the putt well, the same thing we need to be happening when you're swinging a club around and up, down and around. That the fingers should be equal and opposite. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All the time. So fingers equal and opposite. The club face is stable. Yeah. There. So what and you're then, kind of really doing then, like left hand in particular, is almost kind of turning yeah, to the right. Yeah, but right you, hand. you almost can't see it. Yeah, they, you can't they're locking see it, yeah, it in. Yeah. And they lock the elbows and the shoulders in at the same time, but they don't restrict them. Yeah. And then as we go back, we're winding it up. I can feel. 45 degree angle, I feel the shoulders loaded from there. I can then feel that I'm moving that down into position as the body is turning. And then through impact, I've got shaft pressure and face pressure to the finish nicely balanced. Yeah, yeah. So I'm really consistently trying to make that movement that it's automatic yeah. rather than just, oh, do I need to go out there? Do I need to go? So what, what I'm saying here is, you said which is the most important to me, it's the body action. Why? Purely and simply because if your car breaks down, are you just going to change the oil? No. Are you going to change the windscreen wipers? No. Are you going to change the tyre? It's not going to work. So if it breaks down, I've got to go to the root of the problem. The root yeah. of the problem is the engine needs sorting out yeah. and then we can get. So in the golf swing, the body's the engine. Yeah. If the arms are going out there or going in, there's a reason they're doing that. It's because the engine's not working yeah. properly. So just giving a lesson to move the arms out there and it really is not getting 
to the root of the problem. Really, yeah. So if your body action is that consistent, like I said, with the most amateurs, they'd be better feet together. But obviously you're better if you've got much better control of your body movement yeah. and it's powerful and finished in balance all the time. So that's exercise routine, yeah. a bit like, like we call, you know, it's like a dance. You do a dance, you know how the movement is and you finish and it's rhythm. So people talk about rhythm and routine. The better the routine, the better the rhythms. Yeah. They're, they're indivisibly linked. Yeah. So everybody says, I want to work on my rhythm. I said, no, you want to work on your routine because your routine will become your rhythm. Become your rhythm. Yeah, okay, exactly. I think when I, from a lot of my online coaching, I always end up working all the way, there could be issues at kind of impact, post impact, but you always do end up coming all the way back to takeaway, don't you, with a lot mm -hmm. of the things. Mm -hmm. when you start, the way you start initially moving the golf club kind of has a huge bearing on where you are halfway up, yeah, how absolutely. you load the shoulders, because yeah. people kind of almost want to skip to, I had a lesson recently, a guy in South Africa was, literally said to me, I need to, I need to improve my transition. And the first lesson was me improving his takeaway, and he came back to me and said, but I think you don't need to address my transition, it's like we are doing from the takeaway because mm -hmm. he, he took it and he took it literally inside there and there's only, there's only one way you are going to go mm -hmm. from there is build up build up mm -hmm. and over aren't you which is that's why if, if you want he wanted one simple exercise to try and get the arms and the club into a decent position as a right-handed player you would still practice swinging with your left arm below right but yeah. sets good posture mm -hmm. and then from there allowing the right arm to stay in position then from there you could change the grip and then you could feel what's going to happen in this right side yeah. on the way down so the cack handed allows the arm to start because cack handed you wouldn't swing it around here because no. you'd you'd know this yeah. is in the wrong position yeah. you wouldn't swing it over there because you know instantly it's in the wrong position yeah. Yeah. so it gives you much better control of the backswing and so cack handed as well you wouldn't swing it out there you would just move in the hand against each other and that gets you started and then the club flows to yeah. the stop because so. you know you because you know you've loaded it into the right position yeah, like yeah, i say just yeah. go back into the normal grip mm, yeah. position there's not really too many other places you can come on the no and then you know that most golf swings go wrong in the transition yeah in the transition it's you know dropping it under plane the body's out of position and then they've got to manipulate or it's coming over plane yeah. it's the body but it comes over plane because you've got the wrong position throughout the swing yeah, which yeah, means exactly. that your body's not work consistently throughout the yeah, swing yeah. which then if your body's whipping inside you're likely to swing inside with it if your body's just winding up with a spiral which is like this feet together you're hardly going to whip it inside like that no, because you're whipping it upside and down and it, thinking about the 45 is going to get you up and down more you know, so you're addressing your transition as well you know one of the best drills i think you taught us when a couple of years back I think I remember asking Thomas Peters about this work because he did it and we used to literally do this drill with beginners at six-year-olds mm -hmm. and then obviously you were saying Peters was still doing it when you've got the uh, the wall ball drill mm -hmm. so you kind of got the got the golf ball just like wait the, the weight of the ball into there right yeah. the right hand kind of works back yeah then as you're starting to rotate up to the top of the back swing you can kind of keep that trail arm a little bit kind of I, try, I always try and think about trying to keep that trail arm like as vertical as That's possible a bit more vertical, yeah. yeah but then on the way down if you if you get that transition correct and like spin that right arm correctly correct if you spin it down re you'll, re you'll release it what do you want to do release it between about halfway between you and the wall and it'll obviously just come straight back at mm -hmm. you a lot of the golfers the, with the, we'll, with the, we'll the way the ball the ball go, always go goes that to way. the right or that way, don't yeah, it know. always yeah. goes to the so right. If the transition's wrong, the ball doesn't come, the ball doesn't mm. come back. So I'll put that I'll put that video up as well. But yeah, I think from a takeaway perspective, then we spoke about briefly um, the equal opposite. Um, one of the one of your drills is imagine towel. imagine the towel is absolutely sodden wet, and you're just going to ring ring creates through, the power movement, but it, it also out. stabilizes. It stabilizes how your hands are going to work in the golf swing, yeah. and it, it doesn't have to be aggressive. That's it has to be about, equal. That's what I was about to say, because a lot of people then reply and go, oh, it feels like I'm just strangling the club mm. and I've been brought up to does, not does, hold a... It does, doesn't have to be that yeah. harsh. Some people like to feel that their hands prefer, are firm yeah, I do, actually. and other people like to just have... Yeah. Just It's just like that. That's soft, a bit firmer, a bit firmer, yeah. a bit yeah. firmer. It's still equal and opposite. Making the same, you can make yeah. the same move by holding yeah. it lightly, can't Yeah, of course you can. Exactly. Lightly, of course you can. You're Absolutely. Just, you're just not going to get as much So when, when I'm going back now, my hands are as light, but they're moving in opposition. Yeah. Now my hands are tight, but yeah. they're moving in opposition. Yeah. And I can almost feel the difference in the energy of the club in the takeaway. Yeah. A light, I haven't got a lot of energy, light grip, but when my energy, my 
grips tight, I've got, I feel as though I've got energy. Yeah, I've yeah, got a lot more right. energy in it. Yeah. So I'm starting with a bit more energy. So it doesn't have to be, like I said to about the body action, it doesn't have to be perfect, it has to be consistent. Yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. I like that quote. I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal that one. The, um, so if you're gonna prescribe then three drills for the average golfer, what, three, yeah. what, what would be the three drills you would kind of get them to do? I think we've kind of spoke about two already. Would you would you get them on the on the towel drill? Well, what, the well sometimes that you, you, because you grip, you could almost feel that the, the towel's on there, if you like, and you can you know sense that you're gonna squeeze that towel like that and then move it. So you squeeze the towel. So sometimes I do get them to do a double-handed grip yeah. just to get the sensation of the move of them to the club away. That's good, yeah. Because what I would say as well is that a lot of players go for a, a, a lesson and the first thing everybody does is try and change the grip. To me, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Because if you actually get equal and opposite, you could have the worst grip in the world, yeah. the worst grip, but if it goes equal and opposite, the club face stays stable. Yeah. I could have the weakest grip in the world, but if it stays equal and opposite, the club face stays face stable. stable. So again, if we can keep equal and opposite pressure, light, medium, firm, yeah. and work in opposition, you'll still have a stable face. Yeah, no, I like that. Because I think, like you say, a lot of people do just jump on and just try and change the grip. And yeah. majority of golfers do go like super, super strong. Yeah, but, 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 yeah. And, and then, and then the first thing they do is obviously rip whip the club yeah. shut on the yeah. inside yeah so also as well from where that right hand goes there's only one if you are trying to hinge your wrist there's only one way it's going to hinge yeah. anyway yeah. isn't it so you've got to you've probably just got to work even harder to go yeah i mean sometimes i'll get side. players in the bunker to have the right hand like that yeah. and throw the bunker up and throw it down yeah. Yeah. and they get that movement that but that's just for a high soft shot yeah you know yeah. so yeah that's you know obviously they're all specialist shots, so you sometimes need a specialist grip and movement yep, to a two. Right. So if we're looking at my swing, then what was the what would be the one? Well, I, say the one, well, I the think one, with, the I one think one with every process. I think with everybody trying to create a little bit more width on the downswing is going to give you more time to get the body matched up. Yeah. I see far too many players getting narrow, yep. which they all think is power. Yeah. But then if you get narrow, the body is in the way. Yeah. So I can't actually pull through with the body to actually get the club stably through. I'd have to almost wait for it yeah, and manipulate yeah, the face. Yeah. So this right arm, and that's what you were going to ask me the question about the right arm, how I spin it down. Well, from here, hold the elbow, keep the wrist, and all I'm doing from there is the muscle structure here is just spinning from the lat and the shoulder, spinning down, spinning down as I'm turning. And because I've got an equal and opposite grip, the club face is stable, the shaft's got pressure in it, and the, and the, the hand is maintaining the pressure and the face pressure all the way. What would you say hip. for people then watching this, if they're, if they're trying to feel this, mm -hmm. what, would their, what would you think their feeling would be? Like an, because obviously everyone feels a little bit differently anyway, but for me there, when I try and do that, I actually feel, whether it's right or wrong, I feel like I'm trying to almost close the face on the way down. Uh, that's a feeling. That would be, that'd be, yeah, that, that, that'd so be my feeling. In actual fact, it's from here. If you watch it slowly, it goes, the, fa the, the hand is turning down yeah. as you are opening up. So yeah. it, the hand is actually spinning down, but not moving. Yeah. The hand's spinning down, but it's from here and here and here yeah. and here. So it's spinning down as you turn. Yeah. And everybody thinks that's going to be a great power source. It is, yeah. but it's not the it's only not the power only source. Yeah. You know, everybody says, well, you don't get a lot of your power from spinning your right arm down as you turn it. Yeah, you don't, but you get a lot. Yeah, yeah. You you get a lot and you get consistency. Yeah, exactly. And you can exactly. get it to repeat. Yeah. So the feeling like, would you say then a decent drill for that, for let's say like a dry drill you could do at home, kind of often get like the right the, the, the right hand pointing down to the ground? Well, I, I would do it the other way. I'd do it this this way. Drill. I'd do the drill with the that hand way. there matching up and then go, right, spin it round and up, up to the top. Oh, okay. And then so I'd that, slam uh, it, okay, I'd yeah. slam it down, which yeah. then is creating that. So it starts there and almost yeah, comes back yeah, there. Yeah, oh, but, okay, but right. I, would, I would do that and then do that and then from there you can put it down there for a draw you can put it down under your chest for a straight and you can put it down and across for a fade so you can almost put the club in delivery so much easier okay yeah right okay so it's it's earlier in position yeah. for a draw it's under your chest for a straight shot as a feeling yeah then yeah. from there then i can match that body open opening up to it so when you're saying then for a, for a draw 
Mm -hmm. Once I've, if I start, if I'm, where, where am I putting that on the way down? So I've got there, I've got my fingers pointing out and away from me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. Well, gonna that's, that's your, that's your drill. And so then from yeah. there, then when you've, you've got your imaginary grip here, then you turn, you're still turning it down on top like that. And it's yeah. back here. So that then all of a sudden it's easy to feel that the feet are helping you to match the path. And then from there under it, your feet are obviously more ground force reaction. And then from there, it's a little bit more the actual left turn pressure in slightly different positions to achieve different shots. Yeah. Just like. Because you, I mean, you ro your rotation through the ball was just helped. It's kind of more natural, isn't it? With the, if you, well, you deliver it, 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 if, you, if you've better. got in delivery, your body will work a lot more efficiently. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes your body knows you're in the wrong position, so it'll slow down and let you, yeah. you know, actually yeah. manipulate. Yeah. And then a lot of the coaching is, oh, I've got to get the body to slow down yeah, so I can get the arm in the position. Then you're going to just make a, a bad swing even slower. Yeah. Well, yeah. you don't. If yeah. you've got good speed, you need to match it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when I teach, when, anytime I teach golfers that I've got like a bit of a more of a slice, and this, you kind of see more of that movement quite early on, mm -hmm. then I we, we kind of I focus more then on that right arm, feeling like it is kind of spiraling yeah, down in that position. Absolutely. Whether, you, whether you're actually too far on the inside or the outside. Well, it's, it's, the it's just it, it, the movement is that you actually are getting it, and a change of path, so much easier. Yeah. Than trying to stop. Oh, you're going over the top, so drop it under then you've got another bad movement. So you're you, always passing through positions. Do you focus much then on, on weight shift and transference and pressure? Well, do, you kind of allow, do you allow that to happen more so because of the positions that your, your upper body's getting into? Well, I, 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 the ground force reaction is the, the buzz, buzzword that everybody uses as well as spin loft. You know? yeah. So ground force reaction is basically simpler saying, look, if this was an ice rink you know, and we were on here, we, we wouldn't really get much ground force reaction and we'd be tr really struggling, wouldn't we? Yeah, yeah. So we have to have, you know, something there that we can actually push into the ground to be able to use the ground yeah. all the way through. Yeah. So that's this drill of fingers up, fingers down, push, yeah. push into the ground. Now I've got the feet working in the direction I want for a little draw or the feet working a little bit more for a straight or the feet working a little bit more, more you know, so I'm they're just trying to match movement. Yeah. The yeah. game's matching movement yeah. and, and we see all great players, the only common denominator I've seen between all great players when they play well is they get it into the correct delivery position relative to the shot they're trying to play. Yeah. All of them, when they're playing yeah. well. When yeah. they're playing badly, it's, it's not there. Much. You know, it's not there. But they all do it slightly differently. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? You're not teaching, what, you're not teaching one golf swing, are you? are teaching a... Well, are you teaching it to actually say, well, we know that if the path goes that way and the face is just slightly left of the path, then we know it's probably going to be a draw yeah, yeah. unless it's it's out of the heel or whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're talking about centre hits now. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're not talking about off the toe, off the heel. So the same thing when if the club face is two degrees left of the actually target line and path is four degrees left of that, then in theory if you hit it out the middle of the club, it should it's actually drop. fade, drop to yeah, the right. Yeah, yeah. So we know we know those you know, that's just the science of it and then yeah. trackman's obviously proved that that's what has actually happened because I for years said that they'd got the ball flight laws wrong and they all said no no we haven't I said well I know you have but I, I can't, prove, can't it. prove it and then Trackman came along to me in 2003 Klaus who owns Trackman he said I've got this gadget what do you think I said well, well it's proved that what, what I've been saying for 30 years is you know correct so yes thanks for that so I've been <laughs> Cheers, you know I've been you know fan of Trackman since its inception I think you know Two of my players were the first guys to buy track man then in 04 I think it was. Nice, nice, nice. Well Pete, thank you so much. Thanks Pleasure. For Thanks for taking nice the time. See you, Andy. Some serious, right. serious gold in there. I hope you've written that down. Watch the video back and back and back to keep getting that knowledge. Also hit the like, hit the subscribe. Thanks for watching. Massive thank you to Pete. Drop in the comment section below if you've got any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Mm. Thanks Pete. Alright, no problem Andy. Awesome mate. Alright, appreciate it.